Fibroids are the most common benign tumors of the uterus and also the most common benign solid tumor in female. Histologically this tumor is composed of smooth muscle and fibrous connective tissue. So named as uterine leomyomas, myoma or fibromyoma. It is found that, at least 20% of women at the age of 30 have got fibroid in their wombs. Unfortunately 75% of them remain asymptomatic, that means you will not get to know that you have fibroid in your uterus unless you go for screening. The rate of growth is slow and it takes about 3 to 5 years for the fibroid to grow sufficiently to be felt per abdomen. That's why medically it is advised for all women, who is sexually active, to go for screening at least once in a year. However, the fibroid grows rapidly during pregnancy. It is said that in about 40% of cases there is varying type of chromosomal abnormality, particularly the chromosome 7 or 12. Somatic mutations in myometrial cells may also be the cause for uncontrolled cell proliferation. Fibroids are estrogen dependent that's why it is only found in females who belong to reproductive age group. There are two types of uterine fibroids. Number 1 fibroids on body of uterus. Number 2 fibroids on cervix. Again based on the position of fibroids on body and cervix, classified into following, on body intramural, subsurus and submucus. On cervix, anterior, posterior, central and lateral. 75% of fibroids are intramural. Later some are pushed outwards or inwards. Intramural fibroids are pushed outwards then it is called as subsurus fibroids. Sometimes these fibroids gets detached from uterus and those fibroids get nourishment from other structures and is called as wandering or parasitic fibroid. The intramural fibroid when pushed towards the uterine cavity and is lying underneath the endometrium it is called as submucous fibroid. Submucous fibroid can make the uterine cavity irregular and distorted. Angulated submucous fibroid might come out through cervix it may be infected or ulcerated, to cause, metroragia, that is increased menstrual flow. Although this variety is least common but it produces maximum symptoms including infertility and miscarriage. Usually uterine fibroids are discovered by the physician during routine examination or at laparotomy or laparoscopy. As mentioned earlier most people remain asymptomatic that is 75%. Only 25% of the females present with the following symptoms. Number 1 menorrhagia that is progressively increased menstrual loss. It is one of the classic symptom of symptomatic fibroid. Number 2 metrorrhagia it is nothing but irregular menstrual bleeding. Number 3 dysmenorrhea that is painful menses. Number 4 dyspareunia that is painful genitals just before, during or after intercourse. Number 5 subfertility that is reduced fertility rate because of which you can't conceive and get pregnant. Number 6 pressure symptoms in bladder, ureter and rectum. Recurrent pregnancy loss that is miscarriage or there may be preterm labor. Lower abdominal or pelvic pain. Then finally there is abdominal enlargement. To summarize just go for screening every year to avoid all these pleasant experience. Hope you got a brief idea about fibroids. If you think my contents are useful for you then please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.